So Skanda Mata is a divine goddess Durga's fifth archetype. The form of the goddess Durga which is worshipped today. We learn from the Shaila Putrima to be inspired to walk on this divine journey. To be like Nandi and to look only towards the divine. And then the Brahmacharini Ma taught us the importance of deep penance, deep austerities, serious sadhana. And then Ma Chandravanta helped us to purify ourselves. And Ma Kushmanda, the divine goddess of the creation, the Amadi Shakti, she filled us with the energy of tapasya. So we are now ready to move further in our spiritual journey. And this fifth goddess, Maskandamata Devi, supports us, nurtures us, motivates us, and enables us to walk further in our spiritual journey. It has always been believed that the marriage of Mas Parvati and Lord Shiva was with the purpose of giving birth to Kartike. It was the only time when the two of them together decided to give birth to a child. And why? Because Kartike was supposed to release earth from the demonic energies from the Ashuras especially Tarakasura. And as, as, as that was his mission, it was very important for the birth of Kartike to take place so that the world could be free of the Asuras. He is also called Skand. Another name of Kartike is also called Skand. And so Skand Mata is the mother of Kartike the general of the armies of the courts, the senapati of the courts. This mother is four-armed and is an avahan is the lion, which depicts the fearlessness and the power which a lion has. And she holds Lord Skanda or Kartike in her lap in this form. We have always seen that Shiva is the embodiment, Shiva, the Shiva Tatta is the embodiment of bliss, of innocence, of silence, because Shiva is always in a state of silence, always in a state of infinite sadhana. He's, in a, he's supposed to be Bholenath, a very innocent God who does not have any twisted forms in his mind. He's simple, he's pure, he's divine and he's blissful, always in the state of divine sadhana. But with this state, he cannot create. He does sadhana and his sadhana purifies the whole universe, the whole creation. But this state is disengaged from action. So that is why he needed his divine consort, Mother Parvati, who is the goddess of all creation, who is the goddess of energy, who is the goddess of action. And that is why they came together as husband and wife, because we need the tapasya, we need the innocence, we need the infinite power, we need the sadhana, and we also need action, we need creation in order this, for this creation to form. It is said that Skanda Mata Devi is the Devi of Icha Shakti. What is Icha Shakti? It is the intention. It is the wish, the dream, the purpose that we have inside us without which we cannot create. Another thing she has is the Jnana Shakti, the power of wisdom, which is inside her. And the third Shakti that she holds is the Kriya Shakti, the power of action. 
So she's a combination of the wisdom with the intention and with the action. So when you have a pure intention and you have pure wisdom, and then when you perform this pure action, it is a beautiful action for the betterment of all creation. So this is the essence of the mother. So whenever you need to do something, you need to have a good intention, you need to have knowledge, and you need to have this proper action. So whenever you pray to this mother, you and for doing something, for achieving something, she will bless you with these three qualities of divine action, divine intention, and divine knowledge. Because a lot of knowledge we may have, but we may not be able to put it into action. A lot of knowledge we learned in school, how much of that knowledge is actually put into action? It is not. So mother gives us that knowledge, which we can put into action. A knowledge which is useful, a knowledge which is in the flow, a knowledge which is creation oriented, not stagnant knowledge. A knowledge which does not help us in our lives is useless. You may read thousands of books, but unless you apply that knowledge in your life, it is useless. So, people, there are many Ghanese people. I've seen someone who needs or he has read all the scriptures, everything, but he was not able to reach the divine. He was so dedicated to the spiritual scriptures. He knew everything. He knew every sloka, everything. I just told him something. That read that jnana one side and just close your eyes and with full of love, sit in front of the mother and call on her. So when the love flows through your wisdom, you will reach the mother. And it truly reached the mother. He could see the divine mother. So jnana, just simple knowledge is useless unless it is implemented with love into your life, into your actions. So that is the mother, what the mother is teaching us to use jnana with the pure intention, with the pure love into the action of our lives. And this is the skandha tattva, the tattva.